Hello and welcome back. Episode 48 of our XCOM 2 War of the Chosen legendary difficulty run. And we've just killed a Chosen. The assassin is no more. It took us a long time, an hour and a bloody half, um, but we got it done in the end. Um, and when this is right where we've picked up from last time. So we've got some soldier issues and I've only got five available. Um, however, the wounds, four days, three days, three days, four days, six days, seven days on a covert. So if we, 16 hours in the case of Lockett. So if we just heal faster, we'll get through most of that pretty quick. So that's fine. Um, what do we also need to think about is research. Because I've got this research here, which is the interchangeable mod upgrades, which isn't, I only did it because it was the only thing to do. However, we've now got the assassin weapons research, um, which is eight days, and this is five days remaining. So to be honest, <clears throat> I'm probably going to flip this to the assassin weapon so that we can get the Arashi and the Katana. And once we've got them unlocked, we'll, if you haven't seen these weapons before or whatever, we'll do a quick overview of what they do. Broadly speaking, like damage wise, they're going to basically do what the top end weapons do that we have access to already, but they do have some interesting mods, perks, and all that kind of stuff. So let's get the research flipped over to that. Um, and we'll head back to the Geoscape. Oh, a cutscene. One that we didn't get last time. She's not happy, and I wouldn't be either if I just lost one of my uh, uh, chosen allies. Okay, so um, what we need to do here is heal faster. Um, my supplies are still on the map, I think, somewhere. Here they are. Um, so we do need to do that. Um, the next supply drop is in eight days, so that's fine. So as long as I pick them up before then, it's fine. Um, I'm not, I can't remember, I think they just stack anyway, but it's fine. We, we can just get them as and when we're, we're good for supplies. Um, and obviously we need to get these uh, shadow projects completed, so we need a bit of Illyrium. But end of month in eight days will mean we can hopefully just buy it with Intel if we need to. So what I'm going to do is go and heal faster here, as we are very light on soldiers. And I think from memory, before we went after the Assassin, we did scan for a few days to get some healing done anyway. So, um, yeah, it's very important that we heal quickly. Lock it back. Okay, we're going to continue training Corky in here. Um, we're going to give him soul fire 13 days. Next, um, we'll get a second psionic trooper kind of on the way. Alien scientists make great stride on the... Oh, that's fine. I've got so many facilities that I could just go and take out to drop this back. I don't even need to worry about it at the moment. Um, we've got five days on the next Stronghold um, covert action as well. I want to see some more names appearing here. Right, okay. Knew this was going to happen reasonably quickly. Um, so, anything with a um, reward that might help us with Illyrium would be good. So we've got this one here. We will not be concealed. Um, oh, that's countering that dark event, sorry. A Grenadier at Colonel level would be pretty decent, to be fair. Not the worst um, 
recovering an item from a facility, 13 enemies, sector pods, all the sorts of shit in there. High explosives, that can also be very good, particularly with our Reaper. Um, so that's an option. Now this one here we get an engineer, which is not a massive issue. Slightly easier um, on the enemy front. Um, and then we've got this one here. Supplies, not an issue. I wouldn't mind picking up a really good colonel level grenadier, to be fair. And high explosives could help us out quite a bit here. Um, so let's see what the hell squad we can put together here. I don't know if I'm going to have... It's going to have to be B team. Commander, I've got trace chemical readings throughout that area showing a mix of volatile compounds. If we're not careful, that whole place could end up on fire. <coughs> okay, we actually have a pretty strong squad here. Most people are back. I guess the only thing is, do I actually have a Grenadier? Now, one is still out for three days. Shakes is still on Cover. I'm going to get a Grenadier from this, so that's okay. I think we probably on this one, let's just take the absolute best we can take here and we'll worry about what happens next in a minute. Um, okay, so Lockett could then maybe give me Tracers. I'm actually going to switch um, the gun, the good gun, onto the one with the decent repeater onto Lockett. Uh, and we'll trick out another rifle for Luxton now. Um, so this one has got a... S I just switched that weapon to Lockett, didn't I? I thought I did. Oh, that one's... I've got two. I've got superior hair trigger and... Okay, so it's... I've got two with superior... Okay, that is... I didn't even know I had two. Okay, cool. Um, Jambo is in as well. Um, I'm thinking that because I haven't got um, a Grenadier, I will take a Frost Bomb on someone. Um, we could take the Venoms on him. Uh, although I wouldn't mind another set of blue screens because I think I saw Sectopod on the list, as it were. So that's fine. Uh, I don't think I've got enough points to actually buy anything overly decent. We've got double combat protocols here. Uh, Luxton can actually have the med kit, so that's fine. Because um, Lockett now, remember, has got um, <coughs> uh, the revitalize ability. So we can just send our thing around healing everybody. Um, I would really like to get rapid fire on Lockett. And Sir I mean, yeah, Lockett is needs to get juiced ASAP. Um, okay. I think nothing else for us to do here. Um, we haven't got a sniper either. Mm, we could bring sneaky, but I kind of like double double specialists here, if I'm honest. Solid. Or do we take Vault out? Vault out for a sniper could be the play here. Yeah, vault out for a sniper. Because it's just too much um, potential damage. Um, and Sneaky's redemption arc kind of continues at pace. So yeah, so we'll go with no Templar because I've got double rangers. So double rangers, double specialists, and a reaper. Let's go. <laughs> right. This is a very much a just get this mission done at all costs and try and get it done as cleanly as possible. Um, because I need some heals to come in. Soundtrack is popping today. Okay, neutralize all enemy targets. Now, we need to remember explosives here, so we need to be careful where we stand as well as where enemies stand. Uh, okay, there they are. We didn't get a uh, nice squad member. Um, 
Seven until detonation. It's not far though, at all. Um, Sneaky is a hung DP going straight up here. There's no other full cover realistically. Um, so we're gonna send her up here straight away. Um, and then John can begin the scouting mission. There's quite a lot of people about as well. Just randomly stood in places. Um, this is the edge of the map, yes. So I think we're okay to go here. Moving as ordered. An alien scouting party. Okay. Does that give sneaky squad sight? No, too far. Oh, because we don't quite have the range yet. Okay, so we're just gonna be moving up for now then. Um, <clears throat> so let's get lock it up. Position confirmed. Jambo also up Luxton for now go there probably gonna end up being a double run for you so we're probably just gonna be looking at um, double cover for everybody here uh, and move as far as we can um, without causing too much fuss because we have full concealment so we're we're good here um, I'm gonna bring locket Mm, yeah, to there. It's fine. No lucks in there. And then Sneaky. Is this too far away? I don't think it is, if, particularly if they come towards us. So I'm going to leave you up here for now and we'll just see what happens. So what I just need to do is get eyes on these two, basically. Um, and then Sneaky should be able to have a, a pop. Um, so, John, that's going to be on you. Does she have a shot now? Yeah, she does. Seventy-five. The ink is a long way. It's a long way out. Um, what I could do with John probably does not have a remote. There's so many things to remote start on this map, though. Actually, insane. Uh, just nothing that's near them, unfortunately. We've got six turns to do this. Aha! Hello. Um, okay, we've got some enemies there. Um, did we start this off with Sneaky and then we just try and kill these two? If I can just pull these two on their own, I think that'd be fine. Come on. Yeah, go for it. <coughs> Obviously she misses. But it doesn't... Everybody else isn't revealed though, interestingly. It just reveals her. Um, I don't have a Grenadier, so I can't blow them up could use an early sting and do quite a lot I just want to pull this I just want to pull this group down towards me here and shooting them will do that so sorry I've just missed a 75 and a 92 I've just missed a 92 just missed that's some real XCOM bullshit there that's really interesting gameplay design uh, right uh, could go haywire protocol could be fun take control of a mech let's have a look at the percentages um let's have a look at the percentages i wouldn't mind taking control of it that could be fun lower percentage to take control um so shut down is easy to do control it less easy to do um let's cancel for now let's just have a look so i know i can shut it down if i need to but two shots missed is not good um, now my rangers are still concealed obviously so they're gonna get their aiming bonuses now um, again here 75% chance to crit um, would be good but Luxton can actually shred its armor because uh, he's got shredder so I'm probably gonna get Luxton to hit that first Lo oh, excuse me Ex excuse me that is that is absurd that is quite frankly absurd that that's missed. I don't even know what to say anymore. Um, combat protocol. Fucking hell. Something guaranteed. Please just hit the enemy. No, my luck. That will miss. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. Um gonna be a ranger job here so coach probably just moves here shoots it in the side 
this thing will come down, try and kill Coach. Won't be able to because he's got him placeable um, and everyone's a winner. So that's a 75, a 92, and a 90 I've missed. Oh, wow. Wow. And that didn't crit either. This is actually getting a little bit silly. Um, I might have to do this. Um, this is this is absurd. What is the start of this mission? Like, hello. Half expecting that to miss. Right, you're there. It shouldn't pull any enemies, um, but I want this guy to. I want you to stay where you are. I want this guy to attack you. Uh, brilliant. Just attack the person who's nowhere near you. That didn't stun either. So coach is taking a big old hit here. Ow, eleven. That's the last thing I needed. Coach getting damaged. That's literally the last thing I needed. Um, okay, that's quite a set of turns to start this off. <laughs> right, coach, tap this thing in the face, please. Right. <clears throat> right, nice. Luxton, get the heals. Give me a gremlin heal onto him, please. Um, and then you can move up. And then, oh, when we won't move up, we'll start scouting again with uh, our Reaper. Christ alive. I'm going to need to heal him again, probably. Um... So I can, I am comfortable with just running straight up here with the Reaper. Okay, that's fine, that's just a couple of troopers. Now what we don't want to do is pull them now, because I want to go up next turn. So really I just want to hit all this full cover um, with these guys now. Um, sneaky, is that going to pull them down? No, it doesn't. Has sneaky actually got shots? She's got squad size. She's just in an absolute Narnia. So she's going to have to move up. I'm going to have to... Probably going to have to double run her and then grapple her up to here next turn probably is the play. So let's run her in here. Um, why is it doing it like it's going to pull an enemy just by moving there? I've already been there. All right, Luxton. Um, ah, you did a... You hit Gremlin Heal, so you, you can only get there. Uh, Jambo... I'm going to conceal you so that you can move up as well. Um, then you're in a slightly better starting position for next time. Um, there's an Archon over there too. Oh, and turret. Okay, this is going to get spicy quick. So I think Coach just goes here um, and just chills. Um, I might get another heal out on him before I send him up there, but we'll see. Okay, so I'm looking now for like a remote start or something. Do not reveal them. They're a little bit close for comfort. I can remote start that. 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 <clears throat> okay. Um... I need to decide what to do here. Um, Jambo actually does have the frost bomb, so I could frost bomb. Although he doesn't get the extra AOE or the extra because I haven't got a grenadier with me. Um, and we can obviously just absolutely nuke all of these. Can Sneaky see the turret? Yeah, she can, and I could dead eye this. It's only sixty nine percent though. I can make it better. I can give her a shot at the turret with a grapple though. So. A better shot at the turret with a grapple, so she's going to be fine. Coach has got run and gun too, so can easily get up into some really nice positions. Um, I would have loved to have got some kind of remote start or um, claymore. I could claim all these two. In fairness, which might give Coach's Reaper our uh, ability a a chance. I only got four turns, so I need to like I need to do big damage quickly. <laughs> okay. They're gonna move now. They might reveal us as well here. Depending on where they go, yeah they do. 
Oh, that's kind of huge, though. How many shots am I going to miss in this mission? This is actually absurd. Okay, it's fine, though. Everybody's been spotted. These guys are, I need them to pull. I need them to run towards me at great pace. Okay. Nice. We're cooking. <clears throat> um, right. Lock it. Okay. Let's think about this. We've actually got some reasonable shots from down here. I think what I'm going to do with Sneaky is grapple to here. Because then we'd be in full cover. Um, she's not going to be dealing with this commander. Um, but she would have full cover. And now her shot against this with a dead eye is 78. Which is more palatable. But I could also lightning hands something. Like crit, she can kill that with her lightning hands. It might not be terrible just to try and see if she crits. It's only a 25% chance, but I'm going to try it. It would free me up from having to... Okay, that's actually massive. Okay, good. Um, now, Jambo, I think, realistically, probably just shotguns this guy in the face, which is going to give him untouchable, etc. So he can now actually go and kind of run some interference for me. Now he's only got one. He can only get hit once. Um, who's he got teamwork with? I think is it is it Rob? Now Rob's got teamwork with me. Who's got teamwork with Jambo? It must be Lockett. So we could teamwork him and then frost bomb. So that's an option. So I could get Lockett. I can't really get him into a good her into a good position to be honest. Um. I could get her into a good position for next turn. So if I went here, teamwork, frost bomb, she's then up into this full cover next turn. So that's okay. Luxton has even worse positioning. If that was frost bomb, though, his shot would be much better. Sneaky's going to have to deal with the turret. So that leaves Coach on a run and gun to here, probably, to have a crack at this guy. Should be able to blow, well, should be able to one shot him. Maybe we'll do that first because we might pull some more enemies as well. So, really needs to kill. Not guaranteed, but a ninety-five percent crit. Yeah, that's big, 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 big. Um, okay, so then I could go and stand here. And then he'd be trying to melee me. So I think we are going to, with Lockett, we'll do what we said we were going to do. We'll go here so we can come up next turn nice and easily. Drop a teamwork onto Jambo. He can frost bomb the Archon. I really hope he can reach now. He can frost bomb the Archon. Um, he still gets his Implaceable too, right? Does he still get his movement range? Or is that now effectively burnt his turns? Yeah, it's burnt his actions. Uh, Luxton, therefore. Right, we need to see if Sneaky can handle handle her business here with a 78 Deadeye. Um, I've just seen um, a pod here, so I don't want to move Coach up. In fact, quite the. Uh, I'm going to leave him where he is. Um, I got some really big questions. I could have actually combat protocol and just take a hundred percent shot, so maybe that's on me. Um, who's Luxton got teamwork with? Could give Coach another shot. Give Coach another shot. Go on. Might better kill this muton. Not too shabby. Dead in the water here. As always. Another delivery. Um, so what I think we do here now with Rob is actually combat protocol the turret so that it can just go next turn. 
So we're going to probably end up taking a shot from the turret now. Um, but hopefully it will aim at Coach. Because he's in half cover. Um, <coughs> and is close to it. So... Yeah, he's got untouchable. It's fine. Okay, reinforcements. Oh my god. Um, right. I think sneaky here. Therefore, you just give me this. Um. Yeah. Remove the turret from the game. Even you can't miss a one hundred percent. Right now, this archon's got to go down though. Um. So we've got Locket in a sort of prime position for that. I'm worried that now we do pull this other group though with her going there, which we do. So that's another Archon and a Snek. Okay. Now again, I've got John here. Now Locket can... a 97, um, but again, we've got our repeater. Um, John... Now... Banish would be kind of interesting, right? If I was to go here, he could banish this, and any spare shots he has would then be spent on another enemy he can see, which would be this one. Now, the concern I've got here is purely time-based. Um, in the, I know there's a sector pod out here somewhere, um, which is fine. I can deal with that. Um, but it's 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 a it's an opportunity it's a possibility. Just check remote starts. I don't think there's anything great. Hopefully there'll be something good when the sector pod actually rocks up. Uh, I'm tempted to go here. He'd then have a target preview of both of the archons. He could then try and banish. He'd get four. Sh is four shots enough to even kill though? I guess what Lockett could do actually is, is shoot it first. It's a 97, so this would actually kind of maybe change my mind depending on what happens so that hits oh that does change my mind yeah okay, trigger free action it's double hits into it um i need to get rob up like pretty quickly um he might have to run in i could also get another heal onto coach and then at least just run somewhere so that probably shifts me away from the banish now i would say because I could also bring Jambo in here for the finishing shotgun shot. Um, I could run and gun to make it better. And then I can get Coach to kill the snake. I might run and gun Jambo to guarantee this. You know. And then the Archon's going to go for him. And he'll I'll stand him here. Stand here. Guarantee this kill. <laughs> nice um, and then go that explosive barrel is a bit close but go there it's fine I just want to draw this this thing's attention um, uh, also he can see it now so lock it therefore as long as lock it can see it as well we can deal with it coach uh, he needs a fucking reload it does have halo bullets though, um, which would kill if we roll enough damage. So I think we go for it. It's big. It's so big. Um, I can now move back here and grab the loot. Um, again, would also so I've got two untouchable rangers now in this archon's face. Oh, we get the superior repeater. Um, that's huge. Um, okay, so now it's a bit of a case of... So I don't think I need to heal Coach now because he's untouchable. So I'm actually going to double run Luxton up. Um, maybe to there. Maybe don't want to go too close to this Archon if I can help it. But also don't want to be flanked by the Archon. So yeah, go to there. Um, John could reshadow you and start scouting. I'm probably going to do that. So if you shadow... And get your eye. Oh god, this reinforcements are coming in. 
Um, I really wish I had a um, a little one of those bomb things. Um, so we are going to have to deal with these boys, but that's not the end of the world. I'll save him being close is fine because I can then use claim. I've got three turns, so I've got plenty of time. So just end your turn. Let's see what we've got. Okay. Some fairly chunky enemies. It's all going to come down to this Archon, really, in terms of who he attacks. Overwatch. Yeah, so I can remove that. So let's see what this Archon does now. This is the kind of key. He's going for Blazing blazing ability thingy so that's fine we just need to move to get out of the way of them and they're gonna land i guess on these three guys yes right so sneaky can you um i was hoping for a lightning hands she can reload but then can't really do anything so i'm gonna reload her anyway i'd love a lightning hands just to get the bloody um thing off now john can you hit both of these guys with a claymore? No. E no. Both all just one tile out. Um, <clears throat> so we could do this and we might blow up that guy's cover. Um, also, it would blow up the side of the building and give us a way in. However, that might also be bad. In terms of if there's enemies in there, they might just run out. Um, and I've got double. Um, obviously, it's because on Overwatch, so I need to remove it. Coach. Needs to move. All these guys need to move, and there's an Overwatch on deck. So this is super annoying because I was hoping that Sneaky could just, like, um, Lightning Hands it, but she cannot. Okay, so John, therefore, I've got no choice realistically here. John has to remove um, the Overwatch. Let's just check any remote starts. No, nothing. All right, it's going to have to be a Claymore. It's fine. We're going to have to remove the Overwatch this way. I'll do it here on the basis that it might remove the cover of that guy. Um, please be able to see it. Might leave that guy flanked, basically. I just need to remove the Overwatch. <clears throat> because I've got too many... Uh, obviously, it shreds the armor too, but I've got too many people that have to move. Um, Locket can probably move and then combat protocol to kill. Coach can certainly go here and shoot this guy. Do need to remember that this guy does also need to die. So there is that too. Uh, Jambo's shot is 73. Now, Sneaky does have a face-off here, which would might put damage into two. So we could run face-off here and just try and do damage to two enemies. Okay, it's nice. She hits and she hits. Okay, just takes a, just takes the edge off. So, the... Let's just check combat protocol. Um... Is it going to kill? No, it ain't going to kill. So. I think, Coach, we take this guaranteed kill on this trooper for sure. So go here. Because you're just close enough to do it without really causing a problem. Um, take it. <laughs> it's 100%, so do it and that means I can also get aggressive with him as well we can see what we can do um he's also got untouchable Jambo's running gun is down because I just used it um so he can go here and maybe take a shot at the um mech but I am also like a bit worried about this Archon up top wouldn't I prefer it actually 
if what's Lockett's shot like 80s against the Archon Luxton's got 85 all right so Jambo definitely then is going to move up the middle and try and kill the mech um it might not be possible it is if it hits but I was going to say I've probably earned that shot given how many um absolutely you know shit things that have happened to me so coach probably would just take the corner here against this guy I don't want to leave anybody flanked but what I need to just do now is move lock it um, um, out of the way of the explosion and try and shoot this guy um, best we can do so I'll take him to full cover here which is out of the way it's now 76 but it's the best shot I've got so 7 damage okay oh, the hair trigger is insanity come on that's big. It's only rolled quite low damage, but it's still good. Now, what concerns me with Luxon here is this explosive barrel. If this blows that up and it hits, gets a chain reaction, Rob's going to take damage. Um, so I might have to go here, this side, to be honest, because I'm just worried about a chain reaction there. Um, that would be very upsetting. Um, now, do we look at... I don't think Combat Protocol has enough. No, it's got to be the shot. It's 96%, so come on, mate. He's on fucking 1 HP, isn't he? 1 fucking HP. That's so annoying. Now, Jumbo can't take any damage from explosions. So there is a vibe where we go... I'm going to leave him where he is. So I'm going to leave both my rangers where they are. I'm just going to see what happens. That did chain reaction. So that was a good call. Two turns. I need to bloody like focus on that. Okay, good, good, good. Oh, Bladestorm kills him anyway. Oh my... Jesus Christ, lads. He can't die, so it's fine. But it's just the principle of all my shots missing. Okay, he's dropped back. Is he going to go for like a psionic attack? Probably. Yeah, I think I've got a mind shield on him. Pretty sure all of my rangers do, but not Jambo. Fantastic. Ah, you. I've got one turn to get this too. All right, I can get it. Coach can get it. Can Lockett get it with like from range? Um, I can get it. Coach can get it. I've got to get this off. Can John get it? I could get John to potentially banish it. I know there's still four other enemies on the map. I think the priority right now is picking up the actual doing the mission and then I can I will then take stock of what to do because no <clears throat> if we don't do the mission then we lose um, annoyingly we don't have a great percentage chance of getting this I could do with some alloys in delirium but it's a bit needs must I just need to complete the mission so that's done okay Okay. Think. The charges are inactive and the package is secure. Eliminate any remaining hostiles near the AO. And we must get the mind control off. Even if it means using double combat protocols, I sort of don't care. Um, but someone also does need to kill this guy. Um, so these guys are going to have to move up to get vision of the priest. Can I... No, you can't um, revive mind control. All right, let's go here, because we're going to have to go here anyway. Um, oh. Like, come on. <laughs> this is just not my mission. Um, how much does it do? Not enough to kill. Sneaky, what have you got? This could be a sneaky redemption arc. 
Um, or not. 33%. That's all she's got. Squad sight. For sake. Um... I mean, I could grapple somewhere, but the chances of grappling to here and having a better shot are extremely slim. So I don't think there's any value. So Sneaky's almost out of the fight. She could just finish this arc on, though. Um, maybe if she goes here um, and just pistols the arc on, that would be an okay use of her. Yeah, 100%. Just pistol the arc on. Could have used Shadowfall there, but... Nothing I can do. Um, John is going to probably have to try and banish this. He's only got three shots, though. Two combat protocols and three banish shots might kill it. That's the only way out of this I can kind of think of. Luxton would also have to move to see it. Would have to stand in the open as well. Um, shots of 41. Yeah, Combat protocol... No choice. And this is wasting combat protocols too. The one time that I don't put a mind shield on a ranger is the time that they get absolutely blasted. Uh, lock it. Combat protocol on this guy for six as well. This is a really poor use of my utility, but here we are. <laughs> okay John the best position that I'm realistically going to have is stood here but then I'm in the open and there's still four enemies on the board so I'm going to have to I just need to get as close as I can that's probably the best isn't it realistically in cover he's going to get three cracks at it um, 368s 350% chances. Come on, mate. Jesus Christ, please do it. It did it in one. Um, so when he sustains, the mind control will come off. Okay, he's revealed. Um, okay, reload. Jambo. No, Jambo, come in and give me... Um, I don't think he's going to be able to see an overwatch shot from there. I need an overwatch shot. Um... He can see it from here. Um, cannot from there. Can from there. I'm going to take him... I'm just going to take him here and overwatch. Because again, this guy's going to get a second crack at the whip here. So I need this overwatch shot to hit badly. Just use my banish as well. Brilliant. Oh, when this game wants to punish you, it just it just really does, doesn't it? Um, oh, brilliant. Just holy warrior, that guy. Great. Um, does mean that if I kill him, actually that could work in my favour because of the holy warrior. If I can kill the priest now, that trooper also dies. So that's not horrific. Um, at all. Now, what I'm going to do here with Locket is I'm actually going to pop Restoration. I'm going to move Locket into cover. And I think we're going to... Or do we go for like a Haywire to bring the Sector Pod down? Let's think. I mean, I'm going to need to put you in cover anyway. Um, no target previews there, though. Can you actually do Haywire from here? What are the chances of disabling it? Let's have a look. So I'm going to need to stall this somehow. A 52% chance to stun the unit. Cancel for now. I just want to see if Luxton might have a better percentage. I don't even know if he's got Haywire Protocol, actually, in fairness. No, he doesn't. Um, so Luxton could go here, have full cover, and can shoot some things or can heal some things. Coach is in harm's way. 
could hail mary this guy like there is a world where i just go and run up um melee this guy get untouchable implaceable kill gives, gives a guaranteed double kill i can then pull him back a bit then rob could heal him and then i could try and shut this down so i'm tempted to go for the slash on this guy now it's 95 percent but it would kill both if not coach is probably dead <clears throat> that's big because that's going to prevent extra shielding going onto this guy too so now what i can also then do is just dip back into full cover here i ain't gonna fuck about with anything at the minute just dip back into full cover and we'll worry about what happens next in a second right sneaky does have a 99 percent chance now rob has um shredder so i'm gonna put him here anyway because that's what i said i was gonna do coach now has in place Sable untouchable if i could shred this thing's armor it would be reasonably good and i've still got locket's 50 percent shut down you know if it gets really hairy so that's fine um okay john's still also any remote starts no nah. john can do a reasonable hit into it but i might maybe try and shut it down first i can ah jambo needs to reload he's got blue screens as well so if i could shut it down I mean, he's got an 89 from here. I've got a, probably enough damage to drop this without using Haywire. Any more combat protocols? Mm, nil point. And I would like to use Restoration from Locket. But if I try all these shots and we miss, then I'm, the, I'm down to a 50-50 Haywire protocol. Which is not a place that I'd want to be. So therefore, do we try Stevens first? Because that would then inform all of our decision making. <clears throat> I think we try this first because this is the lowest. This is the lowest. The lowest chance of it working is this. So let's try and shut it down. Not a fucking chance. Got to kill it. We've got to kill it. And I just increased its aim and deface, um, defense stats. Oh, what is happening in this game? What is happening? Hail Mary. Oh, she hit. Nice. Over to John Z. Oh, he should kill it. Should absolutely kill this. Okay, that's big. Um, Coach should be okay here. He's got untouchable. Ow, do not kill my other ranger, you piece of shit. Do not. Do not. Okay, we're going to use restoration here. This is not ideal. I needed to get through this mission kind of clean if I could. Um, I'm going to reload, lock it, and restoration. So this just basically now will bounce the gremlin around everybody. You get one use per mission, but it also removes any status effects. So if you get a load of people stunned, downed, um, you know, on fire whatever it will just bounce around and do all the healing so <laughs> it's basically a very broken ability that we'll need um as we progress so that's good right um okay Now I execute. Brilliant. 
just when I don't need to. Alright, we did it, but it's not ideal. Because this is the A team and now they're all injured again. To be fair, that would have been a clean mission had I not missed f five shots. It's just ridiculous. But as that's gone, baby, as they say. Okay, no promotions. Oh, 11, 10, 15. That's going to put off our next chosen um, fight quite significantly, actually. Um, we did get a superior repeater again, though. So I can upgrade Jonty's, actually. Um, and we got... A, okay, we did get a colonel-level grenadier, too. Uh, okay, so we're going to get you locked and loaded. Where are you? Um, it's kind of insane that we got straight to Kona. And also as well, I can give her this. Now, 3 HP on them is super good. So we're going to get her juiced a bit here. Um, I won't worry about the weapon for now. Promote Soldier. So we're obviously going to take Shredder. Um, we're going to take... I really hate all of these. She's got Lightning Reflexes as well. Um, but we have to pick one. Um, I mean, it's... It doesn't matter. They're both bad. Uh, heavy ordnance. Um, volatile mix. Hail of bullets. And then rupture or saturation fire. So... Uses lots of ammunition or rupture. Rupture's going to be good on big, chunky enemies. She's also got 18 of her own AP, so we can pick up some extra here. We can give her... Implaceable, lightning. Re I mean, the blast padding is a, a a must. Extra armor on these guys, and then could then give her salvo. It's going to make her very strong. Okay, she's in. Boss lady. I like that. Boss lady is in. Um, okay, that's getting a colonel for free is um, not insignificant. Um, and some of the wounds again are only three days, three days, three days, forty four hours. So, again, probably going to heal for a bit. I wouldn't mind doing some negative trait removal. Um, supplies as well. Um, I think I'm going to just pick these up quickly. We should be all right for the next mission because of the amount of um, <coughs> people that are only on three or sort of four days. So... Take it back up, so we'll have to deal with that in a minute. There's a facility right here that we could also go for, so... Okay, ignore. So we're going to go and heal faster. Oh, which is absolutely the play. Um, again, still need a bit of Illyrium. Um, but end of month is coming very soon, so we'll have a chance to do that in two days. Nice. So that's that done. I would like to get the hunter actually kind of killed next. Um, okay, we've got another slot granted as well. Uh, on every mission, there's a chance that an advent unit will join the XCOM squad. Um, I'm down. Um, right. Can I get part three underway? I don't think I need to reduce yet. I wouldn't mind getting part three done, to be honest. Then I can go after whichever chosen I like. I've sent a major, though. We could send Volt, although he is very strong. Um, but most of the A team are back, so I think we send Volt here. He'll get plus four will as well, which is good. 
Um, I'm not going to send the skirmisher because I don't mind the wounding too much. We'll send another random here. Low, low. We should be okay. Um, and I would negate the risk of ambush with this, but I wouldn't. I'm not going to bother for wounding. So we'll get that underway. And that means I can then go after eat both of the remaining chosen. <clears throat> Which is huge. Uh, supply drop in one day. But I'm more interested in end of the month because then I can buy some Illyrium and get this research going. Deaded. Okay. Dark events. Guaranteeing reinforcements. That's annoying. Um, okay, next retaliation in one week. Right, now I've got some slots here. So all intel rewards increase by 10%. Enemy units lose one action on their turn if discovered on the XCOM turn. So that can be really helpful if you stumble across people. That gives you a bit of um, an issue. Now, double agent we're going to run. That's just really fun. Um, and then I think we'll take this. So we'll slot those two in. So that's reasonably another pretty good set of... Um, bonuses then the rest of these at the moment are not really a problem um 750 supplies i'm going to ignore that because i want to check out the black market uh which i keep losing uh there it is <clears throat> i've got so many supplies it's it's a joke illyrium thank you Oh, we could get the research rock in. Um, superior hair trigger, superior scope. We want a superior scope. Um, okay. A PCS of superior speed as well. That could be good. Uh, only cost. F let's just hold the hold. Hold the thought. So, the assassin's weapon tech is in one day. So let me scan for one more day. Avenger planning new course. To get that done. huge in our research so we've now got these weapons um and we'll have a look at them in a second Illyrium conduit construction improved efficiencies of raw Illyrium will reduce the cost of constructing an Illyrium conduit upgrading our power relay by 50 percent don't care i'm probably going to just de oh no we want to do shadow chamber what am i talking about what am i talking about um okay so now we need to do Sonic Gate, which is going to take nine days. So that's huge. Um, okay, let's go to... Um, let's just have a look at these new weapons that we've got. So, um, if I was to go to soldiers, for example, let's find a ranger. Uh, Jambo gravely wounded, coach wounded, but we can still do their loadout. So instead of the arc blade, we can take the katanas, right? So they do eight to nine damage. The arc blade does four to six, so that's a good, decent buff. Uh, it does extreme damage. It cannot miss or be dodged. Armor will not save um, enemies from katana attack. So it basically ignores armor and does more damage um, and does bonus crit as armor pierce of five. So that can be extremely good. Um, and then if we were looking at the Arashi, so... Um, it's got a superior laser sight, so it increases crit. It's got a superior expanded mag. Um, it's got a superior hair trigger, and it's got a superior stock. So it's really good um, as a kind of um, shotgun-style weapon, so it's going to be ideal for our rangers. Um, it's very close range, but again, we're generally standing in people's faces, so this is going to be a big shotgun upgrade. Only thing we won't have, of course, is the repeater, um, but the benefits are kind of worth it so it does 9 to 11 damage which is exactly the same as the storm gun but because of the clip size and everything else it's 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 good it's good it's, it's just a a toss up between that and whether we think the katana is kind of worth it basically um so how are we actually doing on soldiers four days three days seven days we nearly got everyone back we're in a really good position so next mission i'm hoping will be b team and then we maybe go after a chosen i think that's the play so just keep scanning until we hit a critical point and then we'll call it a day 
supply raid nice so we can get some more illyrium and some more alloys and stuff um as soon as so again another mission done now the mission itself was a bit you know shit but we got it done we've got our sonic gate progress now underway um we're we're cooking basically and i think probably might be time to get rid of a warlock sometime soon avatar project is creeping but i've got plenty of ways to, to deal with that so um once again thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next one